Hey, Mrs. Hunger. I'm almost out of toothpaste. Can we add that to the... What is that? Is that YouTube? I've always wondered what that looked like on this side. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Had I known you were coming, I would have made myself a little bit more presentable. Wait a minute. This is YouTube. What am I thinking? Something I've always wanted to try. Let's try it. Okay, that's better. Wait a minute. That's not nice. Let's try again. Okay, how about that? Still not nice. Try again. Okay. That's much better. My name is Hunier, and I want to welcome you to my home sweet home. And since this is my first time on YouTube, I've got something special planned for you. And how you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. We're definitely not doing that. Follow me. Thanks for joining me over here. I know I just left you guys over there, but somehow you're already here. I'm trying to figure that one out. Anyway, uh, this is my work area, and uh, I want to show you what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to do an art project, which is going to be a sculpture in honor of Easter. So, uh, uh, Honier, can you uh, can you bring that over here? Can you bring the sculpture? Coming up. We're recording. You're already recording? It's right. okay. Anyway, so this is what we're making today. This is a carrot with a little bunny rabbit inside. Taken off in outer space. It's a carrot rocket. Yeah. It's a little something I came up with. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how I made this. And hopefully in the future we'll be making some more projects. Maybe... Maybe not something so weird, but it's something. So first, I'll give you a little close up of it, and then we'll uh, now we'll just get right into it. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to one of my favorite YouTube channels, which is called Ace of Clay. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, he does a lot of clay tutorial videos, and he's really good. He's got a lot of quality content on there, so I encourage you to check that out. Uh, anytime you're gonna make a project like this you want to get set up with some supplies so here we go I'm gonna set up my supplies here and you want to set them out exactly how you're gonna use them so this is what I'm doing here this is the perfect setup you just put everything on the table and then you slap it out of the way just like that here I'm using some 12 gauge aluminum wire to rough out the shape and by the way I want to say I want to let you know that is normal speed for me just with my hands of course uh, we're putting some aluminum foil on there to kind of uh, give it some shape give it some bulk uh, before we put the clay on and there you see me unpacking the clay um, when I first got this clay um, this is the first time that I've done a clay tutorial any type of clay project and I got some Sculpey clay oh look it's Batman and I was not really familiar with what clay to get so I didn't really get the right one this one is gonna be a little bit too brittle to use um, it doesn't uh, doesn't work as well as like Sculpey 3 which I got later and you'll see that later on in the video but here I'm putting on the, a layer of clay over the uh, aluminum foil and I'm just shaping it out I want to make this into a carrot shape you'll see here in a second I didn't really like how this thing turned out so I actually take all the clay off and I start over sometimes you're gonna find that you just don't like the way something's going you just have to start over so I just want to take a second to give a special shout out to Tiff Music for allowing me to use this music in my video if you want to check out his channel the link is down in the description so here we go now we're starting over again I made it a little bit thinner 
what I thought about doing right here was I decided instead of trying to paint this all the colors that I want I was gonna go and grab some Sculpey 3 in the right colors and put that over the top so I was kind of bulking it up a little bit with with the clay here so here I'm just adding some clay down to the bottom where it's gonna turn out to be uh, like little puffs of smoke and uh, you see me shaping this up here shaping it up just kind of trying to smooth it together and this is my first time doing this so it took a lot longer than I thought it would but I think I learned a couple lessons while doing this I think that in the future the projects will actually be a little bit faster here I just want I ended up making a flat bottom by cutting out one big large shape and, and actually what you want to use is a pasta maker I have a pasta maker which actually flattens out the clay and makes it real nice and makes it easy to use. So I went ahead and made a nice flat bottom on there. And then I start to add the little smoke puffs here to try to make it look like a rocket blasting off into outer space. Because we all know that's where the Easter Bunny gets his Easter eggs. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. This is my first video and uh, I think that it's just gonna get better from here you know we're just we're just starting out so um, subscribe if you can like share comment if you don't like the video just hit the dislike button comment let me know what you didn't like about it still share it with your friends you never know somebody might like it if they don't like it you guys can make fun of me I'd like to take a second to give another shout out to another one of my favorite YouTube channels which is the craft man Steady crafting. If you guys want to relax while learning something at the same time, go check out the craftsman. The link is in the description. He's the Bob Ross of crafting. Steady crafting. Oh snap. And you might notice that uh, when you see my right hand moving, my left hand moves as well. And vice versa. They don't like to be still. They're like twins. They kind of finish each other's sentences. Boink, boink, boink. See that on the right side? Oh, and on the left. It's like it's uh, sending Morse code. One hand's working, the other one's sending Morse codes. Don't ask me what they're saying, though. I have no clue. Not good. So here we're adding some clay softener. Actually, uh, what this is doing is kind of smoothing it out, getting rid of fingerprints. And I decided to do this with a brush that was less than clean, let's just say. But I thought to myself, it doesn't really matter too much because I was planning on painting over these uh, these parts anyway, um, which you will see in later in the video at the very end here. Oh, and by the way, uh, jumping ahead of myself, but I did not get to record the final step uh, when I was painting. So, yeah, that was a bummer. Uh, camera stopped on me, and I did not realize it, but better luck next time, I guess. So here we just continue to remove fingerprints. And actually, at some point during this, I actually had already baked part of it um, just to keep it from getting too uh, weak while I added more clay. Um, probably baked it maybe three or four times during the whole process. So I added some parts, did a little bit of baking, added some more parts, baked it a little bit more. Uh, so here we're going to go ahead and start adding some color. I don't know what you call those, the carrot stem, the leaves, whatever. Well, in this case, they're going to provide some thrust so that the Easter Bunny can launch into outer space. Because everybody knows the Easter Bunny gets uh, all the Easter eggs from outer space. I have no idea where that came from, but hey, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Ok, 
and you probably noticed there that I had put started to put some of these uh, some of these stems on and then I decided that I didn't like the way it looked I think I could see some white coming through so I decided to take it off and put a base of green down underneath and then started adding them and um, just like actually every part of this thing at the beginning I kind of tried to do it a little bit careful and then then as I progressed I was just slapping them together and I realized like hey it actually looks decent so I went ahead and uh, just tried to kind of rush rush through there just to get them on there I figured I could go back and shape them up later I kind of like the way they turned out anyways um, and one thing you'll see here is uh, I got a lot of uh, other color like so I didn't clean my hands off between clay right so I got green clay all over the white parts and and into the orange and actually it worked out pretty good though in the orange because uh, I mean I don't know if you've ever eaten a carrot but I don't think they're all just one solid color they kinda have different shades to them and, and it actually worked out pretty good it looks uh, it looks kinda natural so you'll see in a second here so the uh, orange is kinda getting some green mixed into it a little bit because my hands were a little dirty from the green clay and of course I'm still using my dirty brush to uh, clean the fingerprints off um, and actually right there I was using a shaper tool which uh, has a soft rubber tip on it which helps to mold the clay or, and uh, I was using that also to give it some texture give it a realistic carrot texture and then that little dome piece that I had put on there I'm messing with it right now um, I got some of those from Amazon and actually my Amazon links are gonna be down in the description so that if anybody wants to buy anything if you want to start making some clay clay sculptures uh, I kinda gave you a link to some of the starter stuff that I used um, and uh, those those were th those orbs that I was talking about right there the little uh, top screen or whatever you want to call it for the rocket it's a uh, it was an ornament like a Christmas ornament so here I decided to blend these pieces in a little bit more by putting some puffs of smoke over top and I really liked the way that turned out um, I kind of uh, didn't really know what I was doing at first so just like I did earlier uh, twice already actually I started putting the stuff in and then I decided you know what I don't really like the way it looked and I started over a little bit but then uh, it worked out in the end uh, so I went ahead and just kept on putting those on just kind of trying to blend them in a little bit adding more pieces and you see you'll see I just keep adding those all the way around give it another element there a little a little bit more detail adding the details to make it look nice just trying to blend them in make them look nice make them look decent trying to match it with the other pieces And I try to make a little bunny to go inside there. Uh, again, this is my first time doing any type of a clay sculpture, so um, the little bunny probably looks more like a dog than anything, but let's just pretend it's a bunny. And I wanted him to look excited, so his mouth is open. You know, he's, 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 going, he's going into the outer space here, so he's got to look excited. You know, got his tongue hanging out, got some teeth going. just shape in the lower part of the face and I should have made the cheeks wider because I think a bunny rabbit would have wide cheeks but next time next time I make a bunny rabbit it'll look more like a bunny rabbit so here we're making uh, some eyes to put on top of this face 
put some bunny ears and kind of looks like a bunny but I think maybe it looks more like a dog alright so here we go now I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and this is actually my first time using an airbrush which uh, wasn't really too happy with the results at first uh, it, it I kept getting uh, the airbrush kept getting stuck and then it started th throwing out large blotches of black paint and I was a little upset there because it really started to look like I was ruining the, the whole thing but uh, it turns out um, I was able to cover it up with some white I didn't get that last footage because unfortunately uh, my phone died on me so uh, I didn't get to show the last part where I fixed it but basically what I did was it it was throwing out a lot of dark black and uh, so I went ahead and just finished up with that I I said go let me just go with it and I, I put a lot of black underneath the puffs of smoke and then I came back in with the white and by then I kind of figured out a little bit how to use the airbrush a little bit better I cleaned it up real good and I figured out a little bit better how to get it to work so um, came in with the white over the top of the black and it actually worked out pretty good so um, you'll see you saw the end result and uh, I was pretty happy with it so uh, we'll be making some more of these in the future and hopefully uh, hopefully it'll go well but I hope you enjoyed that tutorial um, if you have any questions or comments if I can maybe uh, maybe you can come up with some ideas that something you'd like to see in the future uh, in future videos I'll be more than happy to uh, to take some suggestions and if you made it through the whole video I just want to take the time to say thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again in the next one thanks Five.